What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> Every time I start a video, I never clear my throat first. Sorry, y'all. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. K-Wavy, coming at y'all with another video, man. And I know y'all probably looking at me like, yo, what is this man doing right now? Because I only record videos in the truck, in the car, and the outside, even for that matter. And I'm going to show y'all why we recording inside today. I know y'all see it back there. Some of y'all probably going to look at the title and the thumbnail and be like, why would I even care about this? But like, for y'all that's just joining my channel, me back then used to be a serious sneaker fanatic. Like I'm talking about, I'm making, I'm making deals on Facebook and I'm waiting in line at Eblins. I'm going to finish line, Foot Locker, Champs, all of that. I'm like, I need this. I need it. I don't care. I need it. That's how I used to be. And then once I got my car, I transferred over to cars and... The sneaker passion kind of put got put on a back burner. Back a burner. But today I'm here to tell y'all. I'm about to show y'all all my shoes, all my kicks. And then I'm about to um just go through like real quick of the ones that like mean a lot to me. I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, when I was back back when I was doing my selling and trading stuff, I personally any shoes that I bought retail, unless it was purposely bought for resale. I never sell shoes that I bought for myself or like shoes that my mom or my dad bought for me. I don't know. I feel like the meaning behind them is a little more serious and trying to more than just trying to make, you know, quick two hundred, three hundred dollars off them or whatever the case may be. But I'm about to flip the camera around and show y'all like, yo, I kind of got a lot putting it all like how I have it set up right now. I'm looking at it like, dang, this don't even look like a lot. But when I had it stacked up on the shelf over there, it was like, damn, yeah, it's a lot, but. Nevertheless, I'm about to show y'all turn the camera around and show y'all how it is. Be sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment. Let me know how y'all feel about these type of videos because I'm definitely 2020. I'm trying to get back into the sneaker game. So if y'all ready to take the journey with me, I'll be more than happy to bring y'all along with it. But if not, hey, it'll just be something that I just keep myself, grab my shoes, post them on the gram or something. But flip this camera, show y'all what it is. Like, comment, subscribe on the event, man. And thanks for watching. Yee! <laughs> Enjoyed that right there. That was my little attempt at cinematography. You already know what it is. Recording on the iPhone. <laughs> but um, here's my sneaker collection. Just to like start it off for y'all right now. My very first pair of shoes was the Thunder Force. And like, bro, let me tell y'all right now for all my real sneaker heads. It's been a while for me, all right? It's been a pound. So like if I don't remember the names of these shoes, don't kill me. All right? Word. Cool. But my very first pair of Jordans was my Thunder Force. And I think fours after, because those were my first, those became like my favorite version of Jordans, like just Jordan retro fours. So I got a few of them in the back, as y'all can see. And I got two over there. <clears throat> but like I said, I'm about to run through them real quick and let y'all know what I got and show y'all and everything. We, we just start off over here on the side though. All right. So these, um, Brad 13s, I want to say Brad 13s. Not really special about them. Low questions, another low questions. I got these. You know what this is from right here? I dropped the candle and I dropped the wax on my shoe and I forgot about it. I keep these shoes like tucked under my bed right there on the side. So I don't really see them as much. So I didn't even realize that the wax was on here. That's another thing, guys. I take care of my shoes, but I don't wear them. So like, like I, I just wear them and I put them back. I haven't cleaned any of my shoes in real forever. But I got these shoes right here. These shoes I got from like Pennsylvania when we was on vac me and my family was on vacation of like maybe a few years ago. They fired up. I don't know something about them. Just maybe when I grab them, I pick up a better version of them, <laughs> not the so dirty one. But yeah, they're not too bad. Not too bad. Nice little cop. I don't even remember how much those costed. But um, I got some Roshis that I also got. I think from PA. They also a little dirty now. I probably should have picked up the other one, but it's all right. They're like a floral pattern. I couldn't find these nowhere in Connecticut. And when I was in Pennsylvania, I had found them. And it's funny because when I messed these up, like as you can see, it's dirty, but it's definitely cleanable. Like I'm probably gonna end up cleaning them. But um, <laughs> I, I can't even put it back now. All right, cool. But it's just, I wanted another pair. Like there was a certain pairs of shoes that I always wanted duplicates of. 
and that was one of them. <laughs> I'm not gonna like go through every shoe and talk about every single one, but I'm just like going on the line. Obviously, like I said before, the ones that have like slight meaning to them and everything. This shoe right here, like I said, I wear my shoes and I put them back. I don't clean them. And I also, just the FYI, some of these shoes, like my, oh, damn, my um, my cement fours, I wear those to work. So like, if y'all y'all see my truck videos, y'all see how bad the truck is. I used to wear them in asphalt and everything. But these right here, the sweater sevens, or I think these used to be called like the Bill Cosby's or something like that. And these are my first custom shoes that I did that actually came out nice. Oh, my first custom shoe. I made them black and everything. As you can see, the paint is all cracked and everything now. But like I said, I don't I don't really go anywhere or wear my shoes. Like I just go to work. Smurf tubes. I was trying to sell those a while back. And then these right here, I didn't get these from Philly. I forgot where I got these, but I seen these and I was just like, I don't know. I like these, so I had to I had to go and cop those. I can't even. I'm gonna just put it down here because I don't want to put them on top of each other. Um, nothing much. I got these from my sister's ex boyfriend. Home home gave me these. Um, I forgot what they're called. LeBron. Oh my gosh, I don't remember, but I kept on asking him for these. I bugged him for these for like years upon years upon years, and he didn't give them to me. And then one day he gave me these, and I was just like, yep, it's a package now, along with these Yeezys. He gave me, literally, he gave me these Yeezys. They're authentic. Yep. Oh my gosh, well, they're not authentic no more. They got different soles in them because, like, his foot kind of bigger than mine, so I had to make it adjust for me. <laughs> but, um,. He gave me these Yeezys a while back and everything. They're authentic. They're real. Yes, they are. Feel me? We don't do fakes out here. Actually, I think I've owned like two pairs, three pairs of fake shoes actually in my whole like sneaker history. Um, Concords. My girlfriend got these for me. And the funny thing is, I got these for her and she got these for me that we gave each other the same shoe on the same day. That's that's crazy. That was a crazy pickup that day. <laughs> um... Champs had these. I like them, so I got them. Not much else is over here. I wear my um my New Balances to work, and my Saconis, or Saconis, however certain, certain people pronounce it, they're very dirty because I wear them to work. But I'll definitely probably, like, if you guys really enjoy the sneaker videos, I do like a cleaning video because I used to clean shoes, not repair them. I used to clean them. I used to clean them. I ain't repair. I'm not really, I'm not swift with the repairing game. But, um... We'll start in the front, right? Boom. Right here, going down the line. I think these 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 um silver camels were my very first pair of foams. My very first. Nothing much to them to pick up and show you guys. They're just silver and green with a um green sole camel carbon fiber. Nothing nothing much to them. Continuing down the line. Um these are 72 I think it's on I think it's on the side of the shoe 7298 no 97 9738 um 12s I don't remember the name of them but I remember when I got these I didn't know about them but people were saying about how mind you if I'm wrong correct me please but don't go crazy in the comment um how I think this was like a certain amount made because it has this in it or something like that I don't know, people were saying that the shoe was special and I didn't know it until after I got it but I got it nevertheless uh, my obsidians if i were to ever repair shoes this is the shoe that i would prepare i bought these like this i bought these for like 40 dollars yo 40 dollars, and i was like this is all the rest this it i was like man i'll fix that one day um game of 12s i want to say right these are a shoe that i've owned almost all my life and i recently got i got these this year um low taxis nothing much pink foams Vault foams, Nyx foams, don't remember, Safari foams, um, Black Stealth. I don't remember. There's a there's a Stealth and another one, but I don't remember. I remember in high school, there was a few people after me for these right here. Caught it. My Camo foams. These junk, I do not wear them, and they're so clean still, like, inside and out. Like, I don't know how well I can show you guys. Inside and out. It shoes mad nice. Um, I'm probably gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the camera down and just pick up instead of like just keep holding the camera. Alright, boom, switched up the angle. So continue on with the collection. 
I feel like the only like barely considered heat that I have is my Yeezys. Um, the camo foams, if you want to consider it, and maybe, maybe, because I don't know, like, what's considered heat nowadays. I haven't, I don't have no sneaker apps, I don't got none of that. I just, I follow a few sneaker YouTubers, sneaker YouTubers, and I just kind of try to keep up to date, but I'm not really, like, heavy, heavy into it, but I want to get back into it. But like I was saying, the Yeezys, the camo foams, and maybe my GMP6s, these right here, I didn't know what I was getting into when I got these. When I got these, this is where I felt like I got these maybe 2015, so I was 16. That sounds about right. I got these 2015 when I was 16, and I was like, yo, this is my first pair of heat. And back then, I think it was the DMP pack. Everybody was selling it for like five, six $600, and I'm over here like, yo, I got a pair of GMPs. I'm like, yo, all I need to do is grab the seven, the black, I think it's the, the DMP sevens, I think that's what they call them. If I had the DMP sevens and I had the pack, man, that was the goal back then. But everybody was asking way, way, way too much. So I was like, it's not happening. But GMP six is another one of my favorite shoes that I got. I'm going to just show y'all just so like I understand again. I wear some of my shoes to work. I don't really like driving in Tim's like that. Like, I, I'll keep them in the truck, but I don't like driving in them. Like, I don't know. It's just too big. It's bulky. And like, it's too much. Like, even in a car, I don't like driving in Tim's. Because I don't wear Tim's to work, and I wear shoes to work, I just wear them throughout all of work. So this is what my cement fours look like. They were super clean at one point, and now they look like this. I feel like this could be a fun project to tackle one day, like when I'm in my free time. But y'all see how bad it is, like, yo. Any sneaker hat right now is cringing, like, yo, this, this, this dude's stupid. Da, 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 da. I don't even, what year is this? Oh, damn. The tag rubbed off. It's a package. That, never know, the world may never know. Going on to the next, I got some all white, all white fours. These also need repairing. There's a little sole separation coming on at the bottom. I kind of bought these like this. I think I bought these for like maybe like $60, maybe. I don't remember. It was a while ago I bought these. I, all I know is that when I was on Facebook trying to get all these shoes that, I mean, majority of the shoes that I have, I was finessing people. Like, I would tell them, like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'll trade you. And I would trade them, like, some, some boo-boo shoe, like. I'll trade them like my cement fours and then a good pair of shoes to balance out the bad. And they'd be like, bet. But like, it was like I was getting to come up. They just getting the shoe that they wanted. So they wasn't really thinking much about it. You got to use your head. Technique. Technique. Oh. Another one right here. Laser fours. I think that's what these are called. Laser fours. Show you guys the print on them. I love these shoes so much. When I knew... Dang, it's kind of dirty. I ain't even noticed that. That's somebody stepping on the back of my heel. But I seen these about to release on Insta, um, Instagram and Facebook and all that. My soul's kind of, you know, needs some some restoring. But I seen these on Instagram. I was like, man, if I ever get that shoe, I'm going to custom them. Because I think I seen a video of Sneakerhead in the Bay. And he, like, made I think he, he made it a different color than how it is now. And I was looking at it like, yo, that custom is wavy. And it's funny because I have... I have majority of the stuff to make customs. It's just, I'll be nervous. And then time, I'll be like, man, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I just decide not to do it. But that's really about it, honestly. Like, I don't really got much to my collection. I got a whole bunch of other shoes under my desk. But y'all don't really, um, I'm pretty sure y'all wouldn't want to see any of these. This ain't, ain't nothing to it. From your boy, Mr. K Wavy, like, comment, subscribe, put the phone down real quick. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe on the vid, man. That's it for the video. I just wanted to come out and show you guys all my shoes because, like, I'm trying to stay daily on this content for YouTube. Um, and that's really about it, man. Y'all see what I have. I showed y'all my favorites and I talked about a few of them. I hope this video's not too, too long. I'm hoping, like, I'm going to cut it down like 10 to 15 max. I want no more than 15. But like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. It's your boy, Mr. KWAV. And be sure to comment below. If y'all want to see more sneaker content, thanks for watching again, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Just so y'all hear me. Like, comment. No, no, no. Subscribe, like, and then comment. Yeah. We're going to change the order on that one. And have a nice day, everyone. Yay!